So we are getting ready to go to Disney next month. And my husband, amazing that he is, just got even more amazing. He, let me show you what he bought me. So, yep, I got headphones. Bose headphones for Disney. So excited. He got me the Bose 700 series noise canceling headphones for Disney. So excited. So, as a lot of you know, I have sensory problems. I wear headphones a lot. Mine are kind of going out. So, yep. Don't worry about Alexa. Got Google compatibility. There he is. So, yep. All right, so we're gonna be doing sausage and bacon burritos. Uh, we got three packages of fully cooked bacon already. We've got two things of sausage, like I said, 60 eggs, and a whole mess of tortilla shells and cheese. Like I said, this will make it easier for when we're down there. Be easy to just throw them in the microwave, heat them up. So we'll update along the way. We got all of the sausage done. We got about 24 of these. And we have one thing of eggs done. We're just waiting on it to cool. Don't worry about that. That's sausage grease. Um, so we're just waiting on that to cool. And then I'm going to get into prepping with these. So, yep. All set up. So, eggs are finally cooled. So it's eggs, cheese, bacon. We got the fully cooked bacon just to not worry about any extra steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these rolling. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make the first couple. So, get the eggs. Roughly about two spoons or so. These are big. All the cheese you want. It's a lot of cheese. and one piece of bacon. So just gonna roll it up, bring the sides in, roll it over. Try not to puncture it like I just did. Then just roll it up in the wax paper. And then put it in your two and a half gallon Ziploc bag, which you cannot get at Walmart. You have to order them on Amazon. Rinse and repeat.
down So we had to stop because we ran out of eggs. So as soon as we get more eggs, then we're going to keep going. So when I'm cooking my eggs, granted I'm doing a lot of them, but we're, uh, if it's a cold pan, cold egg, or cold eggs, cold pan, I put all of the eggs in here. Now that I have all 30 eggs in the pot, I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner on. I'm going to turn it to medium low and I'm going to start whisking to break it all up. Get all the egg yolks broke up. Try to make sure I get all the egg yolks broken up. Now that I have all the egg yolks beaten up and gotten into a nice consistency, I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Throw that around. Now we're going to wait as it heats up. We'll start to feel it start to cook to the bottom and we're going to move it back and forth from the burner to the cold side. Start for a little while and we'll bring it back to the hot side and back to the cold side. We're going to keep switching back and forth and they just turn out absolutely phenomenal. They come out very buttery, very light and fluffy. Now that the eggs have started to uh, cook along the edges and the bottom and everything, this is when we're going to start going ahead and moving back and forth between the hot side and the cold side. Be careful going over the hot flame. And so we're just going to stir for just a few. And we're going to do this back and forth until it's done.
Now it's finally starting to thicken up. You start seeing the more of like a curd going on in here. And it goes from this to being done pretty quick. So, and I'm doing 30 eggs, so when you do yours, make sure that you're really watching them. starting to thicken up now not too much longer it'll be done And just like that, they're done.
So I just wanted to come on here and say, well, aside from the purple hair, that with all those burritos that we made, we made way too many. I was taking into account they would be the size of McDonald's burritos, and they were twice the size of McDonald's burritos. We ate maybe half of them. Um, we did freeze them. Um, and yeah, so we froze them and then we put them in the cooler and they're best if you had just left them in the freezer, but we didn't have room in our freezer. So we only had an allotment of the cooler and we kept them as cold as we could. So we have the Igloo seven day one. So no more coffee. <clears throat> so, yes, it's best if you take them from freezer to microwave. It takes about a minute, minute and a half to thaw them out. So, yeah, we we did not eat all of those burritos. And the headphones were amazing. Unfortunately, due to the purple, I have a little bit of purple on my white headphones. But, yes, all that prep work and everything. I don't feel like it was a waste. Um, I'm glad that we had the food if we needed it. Um, but yeah, I definitely made too much, but I learned from the hike, you pack your fears. My, and I definitely have a, uh, fear of running out of food. So I'm glad that we made them. It was definitely a big convenience to have so that we wouldn't have to worry about that meal that day, especially in the rush to get up in the morning and go. So would highly recommend them just be very careful about the sizes and be realistic of your how many you're actually going to eat thinking oh I'll eat two when in reality you're only going to eat one or if you're really hungry you know and you're thinking oh well I'll cut back and just eat one no no we were walking on average about nine ten miles a day at Disney so I was very happy to have the extra Yes, it was a waste to toss at the end because they weren't that great towards the end. But, yeah, I'm very happy that we made them. Just convenience alone. I'm very happy to have that prep work done and have that available to us. So, 